Welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today's adventure, we're going to be making a top hat fascinator. It's a little smaller and fits on a headband than the uh, top hat we previously made. Let's get started. We're going to use a similar technique that we used on the other top hat. This round circle will be the brim, and this piece will be the body of the hat. I've cut it at angles so that the top of the hat will be a little bit wider or a little bit bigger around than the bottom part that will fit on the uh, round circle. Now, as that dries, I'm going to make a headband using the silver wire. Just cut out a length and bend it around the doll's head and then curl up the ends so you don't get poked. All right, now take some black ribbon, glue around the inside of the wire and press the ribbon into it. And once you get that finished and cut it, we're gonna also glue a piece around the outside. Once you finish that, press it together with your fingers to make sure all the edges are, are sealed, and then set that aside to dry. For the next part, we're going to take our now dried uh, main body of the hat, and we're going to trim it so that it's completely flat on the top and the bottom. Then once we do that, we're going to make a top part for the hat, and we'll just use the top of the uh, thing the hat that we just made to use as a pattern and then uh, cut out a round circle that will fit on top of it and then add some glue to the edge of that and then just pop it right on top all right that part's done now put some glue on the inside of the bottom part and set it on top of the round circle that's the brim and there's our little tiny top hat so cute now we're going to do some decoration. First of all, we're going to have a, a bow on the back of this hat, so I want to have some ribbon that will trail down from that, from that bow. So cut some of that satin black ribbon and put a little glob of glue on the back and then glued my two pieces to it. And I'm doing it this way because, you know, when you tie a bow, it seems like to me they never it never lays correctly. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to just make the two parts separately. Now we're going to use one of those buckles that we made in a previous video where I showed you how to make the, the buckles out of polymer clay. Thread it through a ribbon and then just make sure it ends up on the side. And then we're going to use a jaunty little uh, feather and put right behind the ribbon on the headband. I mean on the hat. Okay, now take some of the ribbon and fold it over to make loops on either side and then tie it in the middle with another piece to make the body of the bow. Cut off the ends, and then we're just gonna glue it on top of our strands there. And there's our little bow. And now for the next part, we're gonna decorate the ribbon around the hat. And for this, I'm using some watch parts that I bought. I think I got them on either Etsy or eBay. They're easy, usually easy to um, search for. I'm using some glue and putting a pretty good glob of it around on that ribbon and then taking some of the smaller parts and just pressing them down into the glue, making sure that they um, overlap. All right, then I'm using some flat black crystals in the color, and they're sort of a brownish color because uh, they say steampunk is when goths learned to learn to use the color brown so <laughs> steampunk uses a lot of black and brown and we decorated that with some more crystals and now we're ready to place it on the headband we're putting that sort of off off to the center side so that it will sit at an angle on the head as fascinators tend to do and that's how it looks here's one of my monster high repaints as a model to show you how it would look on a doll there's the side with that buckle and the back with the bow. So there's our steampunk fascinator. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna be doing more steampunk, yay! I think the next thing will be the dress, which will be probably the hardest and most involved, but it'll be great, you'll love it. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Bye.